you are, are what is your relationship with action, the action placer academies? So I own, I own this campus. I own, we actually have three campuses here in uh, the Sacramento area. We'll probably have to open a few more. So um, I'm the owner of, of these three in particular, but I'm also part of the governance council for the entire Acton Academy network. Um, there's about 200 and 250 of us right now globally. Uh, and I'm part of being part of the governance council doesn't mean anything as far as pay or anything. It's just, I get to serve more. Um, so I help more good entrepreneurs come into the program. Influence in, the in, future. Influence. Yeah. Yep, yep. That's it. And look for more entrepreneurs. Yeah. So for those that don't know what those academies are, can you give it in a, like a wave tops of what that is? Yeah. So the best way to describe it, people say, you know, give me the 30 second pitch of these, of these schools. And, and that's a hard sell because it's so far outside of people's realm of understanding of what school is. So the best thing I can say is we're not a school, we're a workplace for young people. And the ideal workplace for these young people is that they get to a point where they're running every aspect of the business itself along with their personal journey. So our ideal day means getting the adults out of the way, but not in a Lord of the flies is now taking place kind of deal. It's in a, these kids are now running this like a fortune 500 company. So they're running their own um, path on an individual basis. They're working on Socratic conversations. They're learning how to think, not what to think. Uh, and they're taking on massive amounts of responsibility very, very early, including running the business of the campus. So, and, and these are all, um, these are all accredited schools to where a kid could graduate out of these. Oh yeah. Yeah. So the paradox, you know, for us is we do have, we have an accreditation, but we talk about the game of education where the accredited part doesn't matter as much as most people think it does but we still have accreditation. We never focus on college as a goal by any stretch of the imagination, but the paradox is our kids will get into any college anytime they want. Um, but they also have so many other opportunities available to them that a lot of them don't need. To. I mean, we've had students come out going, yeah, you know, college, maybe I'll take a gap year, you know, while my nonprofit that I've started while I'm in school is making seven figures right now. So we'll see if college even matters. You know, I mean, that's just, that's I like the, reality the I like the whole thing where it says, you know, I, I think you even shared it, um, that it's kid, the fact that kids, and I say kids, young men and women can't yep. get a business loan for 10 K to start a business, but they can go in six figures in debt of student loans should tell you a lot. It should tell you a lot. And the fact that most parents are cool with one, but not cool with the other should tell you a lot too. Like that's the conditioning we've got. Dude, right. It's a school in its conventional sense, what we see in the government, which by the way, most private schools just model that too. Um, it's a religion. It's really if, religion. if my kid said, I came and said, dad, I have a business. I have a business idea. I need 10 K. I'd be stoked. I'd be like, let's, Absolutely. I'd be like, let's talk about all of it. All yeah. of it. Yeah. yeah. Because uh, again, what I said in that post, man, was like, if you're not concerned about real learning, you're concerned about conformity, because you're going to learn a ton from starting and trying to operate. That's part of the that's part of the status quo for what we do at Acton Academy, five years old to 18 years old, you're going to either start a business every year, or you're going to take their your business into perpetuity every year, because that's real learning experience. Well, I'm, I'm very interested in what you guys are doing. And uh, so much that we'll, we'll have a conversation about how to on the entrepreneur yeah, side how to be fun. how to do, how to how to do that um yeah. so i'm very interested and i think that these communities these these small area communities they need that um mm -hmm. they're not you know especially with me, with my community just not down with public school and the, and, the, and the rules that they're emplacing and especially now more so than ever right and mm -hmm. um i think it's time that almost every every area has an option you know what I mean? If, if they're, if the parents don't align if their morals and, and what they want for their kids don't align with the school that they're going to, they should have a choice. They should. That's exact. And that's all, dude, that's all it is, is the choice, right? And people say, oh, you're so anti pup. Yeah, I am anti that system. I'm very pro the teachers. I'm very pro the administrators. I'm very pro the choice to go where you want to go, like have yeah. the choice, yeah. but people don't realize that there's a choice to be made and they don't understand what they're choosing from. And that's what we've been shouting from the rooftops yeah. for years, you know? Uh -huh.